Beast. My name is Creation, and today I would like to introduce you guys to a new map called Downbreaker. Now, Downbreaker pretty much gets its name from the dynamic features that occur on the map. And for this map, that is changing from night into day. As you progress through conquests, you pretty much see the sunset and other stuff. It's actually a really nice feature. It puts some aspect of time into the game, and I really actually enjoy it. Now, I'm playing with the Z10W. That's the Chinese helicopter for this map, and it is actually on par with the Viper. And for once, I get to say that I love the other fractions helicopter. For Battlefield 3, I pretty much hated the Havoc. It had no advantages, and I'm not sure why it was so slow and so bulky. But the Z10 handles great you can pull off all the maneuvers and stunts that you can do in the Super Cobra, which I really enjoy. Now, I am a horrible pilot for Battlefield 4, and it feels like your experience for Battlefield 3 doesn't really carry over. Now, you're going to have to learn to balance your weight and such on, because it's like flying a new helicopter in Battlefield 4. And I don't mind learning. It's not too far out of reach, and I know if I just practice a bit more, I'll be really good and I hope to be helicopter king of the United States now I know I do have to go against level cap and Matemio, but you're going down anyway guys before I go on a random rant about helicopters I want to talk to you guys more about this awesome map now Dawnbreaker actually feels a bit like Siege of Shanghai it is really urban and it's kind of like Caspian border struck down to a really small size and buildings everywhere. I feel like the objective placement is just perfect and it's pretty fair. The coolest point is point C and that's actually a bridge. So you have both fractions trying to fight over C on opposite sides and it can get a bit hectic. And I've been seeing this a lot in all the Battlefield 4 maps. Point C is placed purposely in the most conflicted area of the map. That way, there can be tons of kills going around all the time, and people have something to fight for. Just like in real war, you want to take control of a certain point to gain an advantage over the map. That makes point C very important, and if you guys notice, like in Siege of Shanghai, point C was the skyscraper. So if you could take control of the side scraper, you can basically take the elevator and pretty much parachute to wherever you want it in the whole map. That gave you a total advantage. If you needed more troops in a certain place, you can just jump over there. It really does help. Also, the other team will be losing major tickets when you have more flags than them. There is text on the wall suggesting that this map does take place in China. So it's maybe just another part of Shanghai. I don't really mind that they reuse the same city or the same continent, I should say, because that's such a broad term. But they really changed up the style the map was put in. The only critique I really have for this map is the jet. The jet really has no one to kill and you can just hide in between the buildings. So there's really no purpose for the jet to be there. Now probably in the PC version there is attack boats or something else that the jet can take shots at but really it can't do anything because if you try to fly a jet in between the buildings you crash. Now the jet that they have is so fast and if you go outside the city boundaries you are doomed. Like I said the jet pilots love to just circle the city and do pretty much nothing. So guys, how do you like the sunset? Does it even matter to you guys? Because personally, I do like the aspect of time. Also guys, would you like a map that the weather changed? I feel like that does need to be included into some Frostbite game. It's about time that we have some dynamic weather. So for sticking around to the end of the video, here's the treat. Here is some raw Battlefield 4 gameplay. You guys can now enjoy all the sounds without having to hear my voice. I hope you guys did enjoy the video today. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't already, come and subscribe to my channel. And let's throw a party. I'll see you guys later. Stay quiet, guys. 
and have a nice day. Just the 